in the wake of the 1972 supercar scare with the looming Middle East fuel crisis, plus the new stringent emission laws that were stifling the final remnants of mainstream non-homologation performance cars from the big three, Chrysler decided to introduce a special edition Charger in August 1974. To generate excitement, Chrysler launched a limited edition Charger based on the Charger XL with only 500 to be built under option code A23. This Charger will be known as the Sportsman. All Sportsman Chargers were painted vintage red with Arctic white coach line accents and a white Landau style roof. The interior was red, black and white with white reclining bucket seats with Wimbledon played cloth trim inserts and a bright red carpet. All Sportsman had Sportsman emblems on the inside of their doors. They had a black instrument panel and three spoke soft grip steering wheel. These cars were powered by the 265 Hemi with the Carter two barrel downdraft carburetor. Coupled to either a Chrysler four speed manual or the optional Borg Warner three speed automatic transmission and ran through a 292 to one rear axle. Standard with style steel six and a half by 14 wheels. The same style was fitted to the Charger 770 with power front discs and rear drum brakes. However, the W35 style alloy wheels were also an option. It could hit naught to 100 km per hour in 9.4 seconds and go from 0 to 400 meters in 17.2 seconds with a top speed of 176 km per hour. Of the total VJ production, which exceeded 10,000 units, according to Gavin Farmer and Gary Bridges' book, Hey Charger, only 399 Sportsman Chargers were ever produced, although some sources suggest the number was closer to 500.